welcome to the fifth instalment of our 2014-15 season review series, where we tackle each month of the season a week at a time throughout the summer. This week, we look at December. The Shakers went into the month sitting just outside of the playoff places, eighth in the league. The month started with round two FA Cup fixture against fellow League Two side Luton Town. Daniel Nardiello pounced on a loose ball at the final whistle to force the replay after Mark Cullen put Luton ahead on 51 minutes. Dropping off and Hope trying to go all the way. He was allowed to run and run. Cullen comes short for the throw. And Scott Griffiths tried to give it back to him. He's come out with the ball, Griffiths. This ball in, and Griffiths again, off the deck, and almost in, and it is in! It's a bizarre goal, Lutner in front, it looks like Mark Cullen has poked in after an error from Robert Lainton, and a big error. Now or never for Berry. Hussey with the corner, everyone's up including Lainton, that's Mills with the shot, and still Luton can't clear, and still they can't, Nardiello it's in! Berry have done it in stoppage time! The miracle has arrived. It's 1-1 at Gig Lane. Ryan Lowe felt they deserved at least a replay. Fair play to Luton, they come and strong, competitive, and you know they tried to stop us playing. But I think you know you can look at the, the positives, the football we played at times, and you know chances we created, and you know their defenders putting their lives on the line if you if you like. And you know it was only a matter of time that it was going to come. Next up saw the Shakers travel to Oxfordshire to take on Oxford United in Skybet League 2. The game was an even affair until Danny Mayer got buried the lead on the 63rd minute. However, Craig Jones gave the use the equaliser with an own goal on the 69th minute. Tyrone Bennett then got the home side for three points on the 90th minute. Manager David Flickcroft felt his side gifted the opposition the win. Well, at the start, um, you know, we, we wasn't the race at all first half. You know, the first half really concerned me. We, we couldn't really pass it with any purpose. And um, the system, you know, that I chose today, first half, just didn't sort of work. Went off and changed to a back four. Um, and certainly in the second half, we got good chances and uh, well deserved goal. Second half, well deserved goal by Danny. Um, off Allen's opportunity and uh, deserved to be 1 0 in front, I thought, second half performance. Um, but then, you know, they've not had to earn the, earn the result. We've given, we've given two goals, you know, we've created their two mm. goals, and that is, that's disappointing from, from my point of view. The planning work we've done to, to come here and try and get a positive result. Um, you know, Oxford have, have had two goals gifted to them. In the replay of the FA Cup second round at Kenilworth Road, Luton came out 1-0 winners after a goal by Luke Rooney just after the break. Wally doesn't quite get there. Drury with a free kick. In towards Wilkinson. Came at a difficult height for him. Wally. Now it's with Drury. Cullen is free. Can he get half a yard here? Oh, he's just shaved the post. Real chance for Luton. Nardiello twists and turns. This is Mayer. Plenty of options here. Mayer still going. Nardiello looks to get the shot. It might fall for Mayer again. The back heel is wide. Rooney has got company. Still Luke Rooney. It's towards Cullen. Does he get the flick? It doesn't matter. It's round the bottom corner and Luton are ahead. Immediately after the restart, this is Wally and Cullen just couldn't make it. Rooney, Cullen takes the deflection, spins wide, so close to a second. 
Drury with a free kick. Lafayette looking for Griffiths. It's a good stop and it's cleared off the line by Cameron. Just seconds remaining now. This is Adams. Berry needs something special. This is Cameron into the arms of Tyler Luton escape. Flickcroft said. Because at the minute, you know, the, the, the goals we conceded, not very good goals against us, and tonight's goal, you know, I'm not sure, sure how that sneaked in. Um, but it's just it's just crossed. It didn't seem no pace in it, or not enough pace to, to certainly beat the three defenders in Schwan, but it, but it has done so. Uh, it's eluded us. And I'm um, really, really disappointed to go out of the FA Cup. Um, but, you know, tomorrow is a day when, I, when we can dust ourselves down and, and go again for, uh, for Saturday's performance. Back at the JD Stadium, the Shakers took on York City, heading into a busy Christmas period. After a quiet first half, half-time saw the game come alive with four goals in just over 20 minutes. Andrew Tutt started off the scoring for Berry on the 57th minute, Daniel Nardiello doubling the Shakers' lead five minutes later. However, York City didn't lie down and on the 66th minute, Jake Hyde got them back in the game with Luke Summerfield equalising for the Minstermen on the 78th minute. The game finished 2-2, with both teams sharing in the spoils. Andrew Tuck felt they should have won the game. Yeah, I thought we should have won the game, you know, to not up at home, we were comfortable. And they scored six minutes later, you know, silly goals again, but, you know, we've got to stick together, you know, and hopefully we'll get through this. The Shakers Boxing Day trip saw them travel to Northampton Town in what turned out to be a very entertaining and eventful match, with Berry grabbing the three points with a 3 2 win. Mark Richards got the home side off to a great start with a goal in the sixth minute. Andrew Tuck got buried the equaliser on the 30th minute, with Tom Saws putting the Shakers into the lead just before the break. Danny May had doubled the visitors' lead on the 57th minute, but on the 64th minute the game was marred by an off-the-ball incident which saw both Hayden White and Ivan Tony both see red. Chris Hackett got a goal back from the Cobblers on the 77th minute, but it was too little too late. David Flickcroft was delighted with the three points. Delighted with the three points, you know. Uh, it's a strange time of year when uh, you've got so, so many games, you know, the planning and uh, you're looking ahead of yourselves, but we couldn't look past this game. You know, we knew how important the game was after the run we've been on. And uh, certainly away from home, you know, we knew we had to come here and, and uh, if it weren't going to be a real football contest, then it had to be a real battle. And uh, we showed signs of both. An excellent performance in the last game of the month saw the Shakers beat Mansfield Town 2-0 at the JV Stadium. Ryan Lowe started the scoring with a poacher's effort on the 40th minute, with a brilliant individual goal by Danny Mayer doubling the lead on the 77th minute. The game also saw three youth players sit on the bench. Danny Mayer said. Main thing was to get back on track and start getting the wins. What's changed? Uh, nothing much really, you know, we stayed positive. We had a sticky patch which I think every club's going to go through. We've had, hopefully we've had ours and now we can keep on going on and winning. He's, he's had it now, the sticky patch is gone. 
I hope so, yeah, I'm going to say so, you know, I think, you know, we went 1-0 down at Northampton, dug in, and uh, it was it was 3-2, but I think it could have been more, and then today I think we've, I think we've battered them, to be fair. After another mixed set of results in December, ending with a run of two straight wins, the Shakers ended 2014, sat just outside the playoff places in eighth.